In the last two weeks I've got a few questions about what kind of blade for grinder better use when you need to grind the uh, plywood subfloor. So and I wanna show you what I am using. <coughs> so here is the extension cord and here is I use two grinders. First grinder this is f uh, five inch grinder with a turbo blade so we have a few different style of blades so this is turbo blade you see the segments with uh, 45 uh, degree angle and also we have um, it's called this is double row blade which is um, very good for polishing you see segments going around the circle but for grinding this blade uh, grinding very slow and um, if you using turbo blade for example using one hour with this blade you have to use it you know three hours if you need to grind it you need aggressive blade like this turbo blade you see this segments like knife cutting the concrete or cutting boot <coughs> so i'm using this simple uh, dust shroud which is i can open the front and grind the edges around the walls if, if i need to come very close but main grinding for main grinding i'm using this seven inch grinder you see this very big blade and this uh, grinder very powerful so um, these blades cutting the same uh, faster uh, concrete and also cutting uh, you know fast the wood subfloor so if you need to grind the big hump i'm using <coughs> floor edger uh, this is more powerful tools but for uh, regular use i'm using this uh, type of grinding with turbo blade i'm not using more uh, double row blades this turbo blade you can buy in any uh, stores who supply uh, tools and material for tiles for hard uh, for hard i don't know most of for tiles and also you can find a lot of turbo blades on uh, Amazon. If you print it in Google Country grinding turbo blade, five inches, for example, you can find here is a bunch of it. And here is the example. You see this red blade, uh, five inches blades, uh, more expensive. I don't know why than, you know, seven inches, because maybe it's more uh, guys using it. So, and if you grind in, uh, uh, grinding wheel uh, seven inches in the, on Amazon you can find bunch of these blades is this is double row blade and turbo blade you see this is a turbo blade too many segments I'm not I'm not uh, I'm really don't like this you know what for example this blade uh, it's not expensive you see it's just almost free so you can you can use this blade and uh, grind wood and concrete subfloor and price very reasonable uh, also i'll find uh, I'll, i found uh, another blade you see this is another <coughs> turbo blade with very aggressive segments you know there are segments not many it's it's very good too but i will choose first one and there is very uh, reasonable price so before one blade cost around uh, 150 dollars sometimes 200 dollars good blade now you can find it's twice cheaper sometimes more but for example <coughs> this blade for uh, five inch blade uh, i don't remember i guess it's like 30 dollars something like this and also these blades I found uh, in uh, on Amazon 
the guys sell, sell it one blade for 40 bucks i bought in one shot like three or four or five blades i don't remember but i have a bunch of it and i don't care about uh, uh, how fast it can be you know gone and i can install new one so also the tricks about this blade if concrete subfloor very wet don't use uh, grinding blades because segments gone very fast you can you can on one drop like in one hour blade already flat no any segments so don't use over the uh, wet subfloor now i want to show you how the uh, blades working on the uh, wood subfloor if you need clean up the uh, from the dirt and from the paint wood subfloor uh, why i'm gonna show you because many people asking for the last two weeks i'm just i don't know why uh, so many need it so and i will show you how to do it and how to work fast and uh, compare this grinder and this grinder you know how fast grinding five inches how fast grinding you know seven inch so <coughs> Uh, one more tips about about seven inches grinder you can use um, this this um, uh, grinder for from a regular plug but all regular plugs only 15 amps and uh, this grinder seven inch grinder <coughs> very powerful and for this grinder need more than 15 you know so in this case you have to use plugs with around 20 amps so i'm using uh, i have uh, this extension i bought this cable uh, in home depot it's around 40 bucks and this uh, plug i you know and now i am using uh, this grinder i'm plug it uh, to the uh, dryer plugs so it's good enough amps and I can use forever, you know, it's, it's working, no problem. But um, uh, this is uh, benefits for this grinder. It's grinding fast, but you need special plug. But for this grinder, you can use regular plug and uh, um, you can use regular plug and no problem 15 amps it's good enough also also this grinder you see i am using this hertz uh, dust shroud but i'm putting around duct tape you know why because this hertz uh, shroud not enough height for uh, to cover this blade and uh, dust coming out uh, under the you know this uh, this brush that's why i'm always put putting uh, around this dust uh, duct tape it's helped me so i'm not using this front now to open and grind close to the wall so when i'm grinding main floor with this grinder i'm using this grinder to grind some around the wall and i'm grinding some small places if, if i need it so better use two grinders okay so let's go i will show you how it's work how the grinders work okay now you can compare five inches tuba blade and small grinder with uh, seven inches tuba blade and more powerful grinder so this is i am using five inches to one plate you see it's a little bit smaller and now this is the seven inches it just it's crazy <laughs> fast it's almost uh, twice faster than five inches you see so all links for this uh, grinding blades and grinders you can find in description for my video. If you have any question, don't hesitate ask me. I always answer you. See you on next video.